Hey guys, what's up? I am online to do my this this October review and uh hmm. I gotta send in some ends too real quick. If I can find my uh, needles. Should be on my desk. Hmm. So, how was your day today? Hope it was good. So we went to I went to Baba's and met up with Ashley and Laura and some other knitting friends. I haven't learned everybody's name yet, but I'm working on it. And I made this hat while I was out there. I had started the brim at home. And so now I just gotta sew in the ends. But I'll be good to go. So I'm going to do that real quick, and then I will show you the um, um, go over the Wisptober, all the drawings that I did for Wisptober for you guys. So this hat is crochet, and the pattern I used was the bush stitch, working around. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on that tomorrow. And um, you guys can see how easy it is. Okay. Then you can do a hat just like this. See, this is long enough. I can use it as a tie or yarn. I would like to take this time to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel in the last, last over the last year. I really appreciate you guys subscribing. I still haven't had a chance to go back through the hop video to right now. And answer questions. So I'm gonna do a question and answer session um, as well. I gotta watch my grandson tonight for a couple hours for his mom. So we'll see how that goes. This will be the first time I've watched him watch B every day, pretty much. Unless she's out of town. So there we go. Hat's finished. So that's that. Hey, how you doing, Paula? I'm just weaving in some ends on this hat, and then I'm going to show everybody my um all the drawings I did for Wisp Wisp Tober. I need to. I had another darning needle out, but I don't seem to know what I did with it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one away. I don't want to risk losing it. So let's get started for the, with the review. Let me check my. Move this stuff out of the way because I don't want to spill it. All right. Hopefully that looks all right. Mm. 
Okay. Hello, hello. How are you doing, Clint? So these were all the prompts that my daughter had came up with for Wisp Wisptober. And I did the last drawing last night. So today I'm doing my overview. So her first prompt was cinders. So I did a cinder cone volcano that was erupting. Her second prompt was bell jar. So I did a bell jar with a little um, pumpkin monster. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. Happy Halloween to you as well. And then she had one for a with thorns. So I did a, a cactus. Um, and then I did like a little thorny um, motif on the flower pot. But I also did this rose um, tattoo on this girl's neck with thorns. Um, but I didn't like it as much. And then she had her prompt for forest. And I don't know if it's going to focus for you guys. It's a birch, birch trees, and then you got more trees in the background. And this one, I didn't finish it. I was going to go back and paint, but I didn't feel like it because I was like, I don't feel like trying to make glass. So this one was potions. And for me, a potion is wine. <laughs> so we got the Grapes of Wrath, North Carolina Moonshine, and the Duplin Winery, which is my favorite winery down home near, near where I grew up at. So then we have brew. And so I did a, a, a pot with brew, a witch's brew. And then the next one was divination. So I drew um, different bones, a domino, a tea bag, um, and some tarot cards. These are just some stamps <laughs> I had. So then she had amulet. So I did an amulet with an eye on it. And then she had a prop for the moon. So this was my moon. And then she had a prop for a candle. So I did this gauntlet type dragon candle holder. And then the candle was an apple with a blue flame. And it's just, it's like blood coming out of it as it melts. And then um, on the 11th, the prop was familiar. And so I did the cat, and also her broom is a familiar because a broom mirror just doesn't have to be something that you would think it would be. <laughs> then the she had a prompt crystal. So those are my crystals. She had a prompt ghost love. And so then we have a ghost with a broken heart. And then we got Mr. Pac-Man and this ghost with like love in their eyes and hearts for each other. Messenger, so this is the old AOL messenger. <laughs> I just gave him the messenger of the gods motifs. It was his winged feet and winged helmet. And then it was um, a prompt for old books. So we did Moby Dick. <laughs> Garden. Vegetables. A cauldron, a moth, and my favorite moth is the lunar moth. And then on day 19, the prompt was snake. So I did a snake eating an apple or have holding an apple in its mouth. Um, and then herbs and spices. So I drew a couple of little herb pots. And then on day 22, the prompt, day 21 and day 22, the prompt was a spider and fate. So I, the spider, I drew, I drew the spider as one of the fates, the one that spins the thread of life. So it, it has a drop spindle and it's spinning. So the 23rd and the 24th was spirit and galaxy. So I drew this 
face appearing at the center of a galaxy. In day 25, the prompt was cage. So I tried to do Nicholas Cage. And day 26 was swamp. And day 27 was monster. So swamp monster. <laughs> well, it's a swamp thing. He's a monster. So then day 28, the prompt was feathers. And then day 29, the prompt was pumpkin. Day 30, the prompt was frog. So the frog is inside the pumpkin. And then day 31 was poison apple. So I successfully completed Wisptober. And then after that, I decided to have some fun. And so this is some... Um, stuff that I got from Dee Dee Willingham and Jersey um, Crafter. So the washi tape is from Jersey. The images, this card and these images came from Dee Dee, but I decided it was going to be like an undersea theme for this card. And so this piece of dyed coffee filter is from Jersey as well as the washi tape. So I took and created me like a little sea scene. Um, I'm not sure why it's not focusing well today, but it'll be all right. And then I tried, I put some of these colors that were down here, up here for like a above ground scene. And so we got these flowers that are blooming. We got this, the dirt down here, grass in the sky, and a bird, and another piece of the washi tape. So yeah. So this that's my Wisptober and a little bit of random art. So this book is a book of quotes for like gratitude and stuff like that. And I was thinking about adding some some stuff in here as well as well, but I haven't got that far yet. So what I've been doing today is I have been crocheting and spinning. So what I'm spinning is some Falkland. That my husband died. It is. Um, I was spinning this on a drop spindle and my spinning wheel. So here's the drop spindle right here. And um, this drop spindle I purchased from um, Fiber Squid. Is that how it goes? Uh, Classy, classy squid fiber company. That's it. And they have their spindle. They have art bats. Um, and and they're easy to find online. So yeah. But um, I'm going to be watching the grandbaby soon. So I just want to get online and um, share that with you guys real quick. The walkthrough of the book and whatnot. I need to go back and watch the other video that was part of the hop. So I can see any questions people had so I can do a Q&A session. So anybody got any questions? If not, then um I just wanted to come on to do that quick video of the 
this tober all right if there's no questions then i'm out y'all take care